We turn now to America's battle over abortion and an interesting phenomenon among men. In this post-Roe world, as women's reproductive rights disappear in real time, demand for vasectomies is skyrocketing. As NBC's Maggie Vespa reports, some providers are now going mobile. Let's be honest, none of us likes to have any sharp instruments yeah. out there and anything that can cause pain. Right. What's your name? Jackson. Jackson, very nice to meet you. Inside this small trailer in St. Louis, a doctor and patient discuss a personal decision with discretion. You're going to drop your pants down to your knees. Granted, the outside of that trailer blows discretion out of the water. All right, coming over. 32 year old husband and stepfather Jackson Frazier is one of 60 men traveling from across Missouri this week for the same 15 minute outpatient procedure that traditionally so many dread. You just finished your vasectomy. Yes. How did it go? Great. It was awesome. I'm 40 now. Kids are really expensive. I wanted to, you know, take one for the team. Half will get vasectomies done in this sperm-clad clinic on wheels, the rest in a Planned Parenthood feet away. Doctors say demand is skyrocketing, and for most, it's no secret why. How much did demand surge in the wake of Roe falling? Oh, well, it's pretty evident. Back in June, in the wake of Roe v. Wade's historic reversal, Google Trends noted the search term get a vasectomy spiked, hitting an all-time high, with one study noting an 850% spike in searches for where to get one. Clearly, those searches were serious. The segment that I saw increase the most from my patients has been the, the childless men in their 30s. The rest of the patients are patients who probably were postponing the decision, but they mm -hmm. had children already. We tried speaking to protesters outside the Planned Parenthood in St. Louis and reaching out to representatives for Right to Life Missouri, but so far no one wanted to comment. After gigs in St. Louis Thursday, the clinic travels to Springfield, Missouri Friday and Joplin Saturday. Each procedure, normally hundreds of dollars, free. Doctors say the fear is real. A fundamental human right, like determining what happens to your body, whether or not you continue a pregnancy or don't, that has been taken away. But I think there's a second part to this as well, which is they're coming for this right, what else is coming? Am I going to yeah. be able to make the decision to have a sterilization yeah. in five years? One thing is clear, more and more men aren't waiting to find out. I've got hit worse playing softball. It makes more sense to take the bullets out of a gun than try to put a bulletproof vest on somebody. I don't know why the impetus has always been on women when it starts with the man. I would argue it starts with the man. Wow, that's an interesting metaphor. Uh, Maggie Vespa joins us live now. Maggie, good to see you. We are just days away from the midterm elections. How are male voters that you're talking right. to out there, how are they feeling about women's reproductive rights and, and their own? Right, it's interesting. Absolutely. It's interesting. So obviously we're in front of the clinic and we were kind of researching this yesterday as we uh, talked to those voters. There's a new study out from the Kaiser Family Foundation that shows 46 percent of American men polled say the overturning of Roe versus Wade now makes them more eager to mm. want to vote in the midterms. That being said, that's men on both sides of the issue. So mm. where those votes fall ideologically will be anyone's guess. One more thing we'll be watching next week. Vicki. All right. NBC's Maggie Vespa. Maggie, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.